So if you saw my previous video, you'll know that I just got my brand new 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. In this video, we are gonna be testing this thing. The mission is to build a basic app with this computer and see how it does compare to my previous one. And I am still traveling here in Paris. So this video is basically gonna be like a very strange combination of a travel vlog in Paris and me coding an app with my new computer whenever I get the chance. It could be an absolutely terrible and strange video, but it could also be interesting. So in one of my previous videos, I started using this JavaScript framework called chart.js to visualize some data. And it's pretty neat. I really liked using it. So for this app, the idea is to use that framework to visualize the big O runtime of some algorithms. Essentially, I would allow the user to input a JavaScript algorithm, and then I would run the algorithm for different input sizes, and then visually plot the times that it takes to run those algorithms. It should be pretty easy to code for simple algorithms but it might be very hard to get it to work really well. So we'll see how we do. So if you're creating a lot of coding projects and you actually want to show them to the world, one thing that you definitely should have as a developer is a portfolio website. But you might think that building a whole website is something that's very difficult, but it's actually not. And that's why I'm really excited to talk about today's video sponsor, Hosting it. Hosting is a world-class website hosting service with more than 29 million users worldwide. And it's honestly the fastest way for you to get a really nice looking website online, even if you have no experience building websites before. Let me just show you how easy it is. Once you sign up, you reach this landing page. Then all you have to do is click setup and answer a couple of questions around the type of website you want to build and your experience level and whether you want to build it using WordPress or something like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And then if you choose WordPress, you just choose a theme from here. And then all you have to do is customize it a bit. And then you can have your own amazing looking website, even if you've never made a website before. And the reason I personally chose hosting for my website is just because you can have everything that you ever need to build a website in one place. And the control panel is extremely easy to use and I also get access to a free email with my new internetmakecoder.com domain so that I can separate my personal and business email with no additional cost so if you want yourself a website definitely go to hostinger.com slash internetmakecoder and use the go internetmakecoder at checkout to get up to 91% off thank you for hosting for sponsoring this video it's time to go been doing some work now, I had some ideas for my app, I've been coding it up and my first impression of this laptop is that it's an absolute beast and for coding purposes it's absolutely overkill like what I had before like the MacBook Air M1 is absolutely good enough for coding. Mainly I got this because I also do video editing on this and I do a lot of heavy stuff so I just really needed the power. The first thing I'm noticing is just that the screen, the screen is like massive and it's not only massive, but the quality of this screen is like insane. Like, like the color depth or like whatever the technical term is. So my current state of this project is that I use this date function in JavaScript to basically get the time when the function starts and then to get the time when the function ends, which will then give you the time that it took to execute the function. And then I'm gonna simply run the function at different sizes of input. For now, I'm just console logging these. Seems to work properly, so I'm gonna start making the visualization next. Probably at first, it's only gonna allow certain types of functions, but yeah, that's, that's the idea right now. I'm not trying to become like Casey Neistat or anything, but come on, did you see that day? Of course I had to run. Now I'm gonna take a shower and I've got like six, no, seven hours until I need to go to the airport. I'm just gonna try to get some work done and make progress in my coding project. I'll do that. Or alternatively, I might just literally fall asleep because I am 
super tired. That's probably what's going to end up happening. Yeah, that's exactly what ended up happening. I ended up oversleeping, missing my bus to the airport. Luckily, there was a second one that was still arriving before my flight. Then, essentially, I got to the airport. I was so ridiculously tired that I had no time to finish my app. So, before I finished editing this video, I did manage to almost finish it. The only issue I have is that I haven't figured out how I can allow the user to input a function. So now, I'm just running this visualization using some test function. For example, this one, which I know to be a linear time algorithm. But nevertheless, I did already get hope hosting for myself of course at today's video sponsor hosting her all i had to do was click on manage then import website zip my files and upload them now what you just saw is live on the internet but the bigger point of this video was to talk about my experiences with the new laptop so let's just talk about that so as i said for programming specifically this thing is absolutely overkill the real reason why i got it was because i need the power for my video editing it literally looks so nice and the screen is so big it's so like the colors are so incredibly deep just like in general it's much nicer to look at it i've already been finding that i'm more likely to actually start working because working with this computer because it's so insanely powerful just such a pleasure so that's one sort of unexpected benefit that i've been seeing already now, now obviously i'm in a very fortunate position where i make some money with this channel already so i'm able to use some of that money to fund purchases like this which will then sort of be a reinvestment back into this channel even if that's not the case like if you're using a tool as much as I use a laptop it's worth investing in it anyway those very minor inconveniences like something lagging or uh, your programs taking longer to open like if you have to face those annoyances every single day sort of the image that you'll then have in your head of the process of doing that work is that oh I'm gonna have to deal with the lag again like, like oh it's gonna be annoying whereas if you're working with a computer that's an absolute pleasure to work with your the image that you have in your head of the process of working is that it's actually nice it's like you want to work obviously if you don't have money for a super nice computer then it's absolutely fine you can do coding in anything but if you do have the money if you are able to invest computer i think it's always worth to do but yeah now i am fully in the apple ecosystem I've completely retired my self-built desktop pc you might call me an apple fanboy and you'll be absolutely right i am a bit of an apple fanboy the sleek the minimalist and i'm all about like having a nice minimalist whether it's setup or process like not having too much clutter and like that's sort of what Apple is all about so that's why I'm such a fan of their products in general I am an Apple fanboy but my bank account is definitely crying of the almost 4,000 euros that I spend on this thing thanks for watching all the ads <laughs> and thanks for hosting ever sponsoring this video but yeah anyway as I said this is really an investment into my coding and into this channel stuff that I do all the time anyway so for me personally this is worth it but for a lot of you honestly one of the cheaper M1 models is probably gonna be much better value for your money it's gonna be a full full thoughts around this macbook video coming soon let me know if you enjoyed this sort of vlog style format this and my previous video a sort of experiments doing more vlog style videos i have no idea if you guys like them so if you do make sure to let me know and if you want to find out why i had to travel all the way to france to get this laptop make sure to watch this video next if you haven't done so already